So we're now with the next morning, the 21st of January. The good news is, well this lady's still alive anyhow. I'm after giving her a bucket of nuts. Um, she's after spilling a few there, you can see she's eating them off the ground. So the fact that she's still alive today and she's brightening herself gives me great hope. She wasn't lying flat out either, the rug was off her. But uh, she was up, well, sitting up like that. So I'm after spinning her around a couple of times now and putting her onto a bit of drier ground or a fresh ground underneath her. And the last of the nuts, Maverick here is stealing on her. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go away home and going to move them cattle out when I come back and give them their silage. They're going to go on the far side of that ditch there. And um, the further they get away, the more anxious this lady's going to get to get up. So um, I'm starting to feel a bit confident. I was worried about her last night. Um, we had checked her late and she was sitting up and she was all right. Um, so she's there cleaning the few nuts that she spilt off the ground. So she's starting to look more interested in living today. You know, these ladies are tuned their cud for now, so I'm going to go away home, get a cup of tea, come back in an hour or so. And what I'll do is I'll be jangling a bucket of nuts in front of her. She knows they're coming now, so she might get that bit more anxious. So um, that's the situation on a Saturday morning, 21st of January. 2023. Right girls, I'll be back. And I'll be back, so I'll see you for now. So I'm back down here now. We're half two in the afternoon. And I'm after being at the vets. And I'm after getting this stuff here. Cal C Trace Liquid. Um, I'm after been talking to a few wind people that had issues similar to this after dosing um, with some kind of flucoside so I'm gonna stick this in the hole down the down the throat and I'll be back <laughs> well, that's the two bottles down I knew I really think she was a bit disappointed with that I thought she I think she thought it was going to be the, the Mountain Dew. But, um, yeah, so the story is I'm being told that that flucoside pulls the calcium out of their bones and causes them to get weak. Now, I don't know. The vet didn't, didn't uh, get overly excited when I mentioned it to him. But I got the stuff anyhow, and uh, it takes two hours to work. If I was to put it into the vein or under the skin, it takes a couple of minutes or 20 minutes max. But um, I'd have to have him to do it. So um, I'm going to come back here now in a couple of hours. That stuff works in two hours, apparently, I think, to get into that bloodstream. So um, now I know our head is down there now. She is. Get up, wake up. Yeah, she's brighter than that. But just, she's just not happy. Me pulling over. So I'm going to come back in two hours' time now and hopefully we'll have a different animal. I wonder. It'll be miraculous, really, to be honest. Um, I'll give her some nuts then as well. No, I've moved the cows over. She did get anxious. There are both sides of that hedge. I have the wire there. They have a long strip, I gave them silage, so they have enough to do them with that bit of picking. Now she's anxious to get over to them, well she was anxious to get over to them. I'm after upsetting her now. Right, I'll be back in a couple of hours. So it's now Sunday the 22nd of January. Now I've just fed these cows here now. And I'm after making a decision this morning. Now the situation is I've been over with the cows. I was already here earlier today and I was down with her down the cow and uh, she was lying flat out again but I've straightened her up and I've given her nuts. Now the situation and why I made a decision about something this morning is that our fence over there was down 
the wire snapped there was a break in the wire and I um, tied a knot in it a long time ago on one of the reels and that knot gave and the wire was down and the cattle were all over the fields so the cattle were gone and my cow was flat out and I was stressed out that was this morning but as you all know I'm after being given the cow nuts that's down so I got a bucket of nuts and I shook the nuts and all the cows came running up uh, to the bucket of nuts and that's because the older cows used to be getting a lot of nuts over the winter time before this crack so that has made me think that I need to make a decision on I was, obviously I don't feed meal so I'm going to give the Waylands at home but I won't be able to give it to the heifers here but I'm going to give the bulls at home and bullocks uh, a handful of nuts every day at least one bag each so that's five bags just for training purposes that if they ever got out you shake a bucket and they'll come after you this system is all very well when you have good green grass ahead of them and the grass is always greener on the other side and they want to get to uh, hang on they get up off this quad and they want to get to the good grass but when they're on the good grass they don't want to go back to the old grass even when I did call them they came running but shaking the bucket this lady here used to get nuts off me um, she was a bottle calf so she had nuts so she knew all about the bucket so she came running and once the boss cow comes they all came so lucky enough now I got them back in again with no hassle whatsoever but to see them on the great wide open and nothing there stopping them between here and Dublin uh, it was a bit of a panic so I had to get these straightened out first but I straightened out the cow below first and gave her her nuts and uh, they kind of heard the commotion and they were kind of coming to me anyhow so uh, they're back in here again now and I've given them two trailer loads of silage now they're probably full now because they were on my good grass down below but um, they're back in here again for another couple of days and uh, we'll keep them moving but there's nothing worse than when they get out on you so I have to make sure now in the evenings that my wires are correct and right but these things happen they weren't spooked it just it failed the, the, the wire gave up the knot was so I doubled up the knot and I've I have it straightened out so we have a mild misty morning here now it's now just gone to 11 o'clock this is my second uh, my second um, time to be here this morning because of that cow obviously I'm checking our first thing and last thing at night first thing in the morning and last thing at night so I'm, I'm gonna go down to her now she's sitting up there now and there doesn't seem to be much improvement in her now she got her bottle of stuff last night and um, that would have warmed her up we're starting to run out of that now i might have to order more but um yeah i'll stop this for now and i'll go down and i'll see what the situation is and i'll update you all very soon so uh, i close this down and i'll be back in a sec Right, well the situation at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunday the 22nd, is no different. Um, she's eating, she's warm. And uh, yeah, so I gave her that calcium yesterday and it didn't do anything for her. So um all I can do is keep feeding her for now. Once she's eating, I think that's the main thing. And she's not getting any worse. So we have lovely mild weather now at the minute. And only a little bit of drizzle. But she has her raincoat on her there. And her hay in front of her. And she's had her nuts. And she's had her water. And we can just keep an eye on her. So that is the situation. I'll post this today as the videos get long. Now the cattle are across the far side of the hedge there. Um, they've been fed this morning. And I'll be back down to them at around half four before dark. I'll give them another trailer load and keep an eye on my cow. And... Uh, 
see how we get on. I think there's a settle spell of weather coming. I must check uh, the forecast now when I go home. So basically, that is the story. That is the story. So for now, I'll say good luck and goodbye.